kids, Puppet Steve here, and today I'm super excited because we're gonna look at all the Twisted Wood figures that come to us from Mexico. And of course, we've got four and all. Now back when I reviewed the first batch of Five Nights at Freddy's bootleg figures, they were pretty terrible. But now with the release of these Twisted bootlegs, man, they're getting pretty good at these sculpts. I mean, just look at this. It's not an official sculpt, but huh, it's pretty darn cool looking. But here we have old Twisted Freddy, and for being a bootleg, he doesn't look half bad. We've got the eyes with the eye sockets. We've got the nose and the huge teeth. And look at that. Ugh. His mouth moves too. Oh, gotta love that. And on the back, we've got all kinds of boils. And they're even on his ear. Ugh. And of course, the boils also carry down onto his arms. Ugh, gross. We've got a big hole in his chest, which uh, I'm not sure why, but ugh, don't stick your finger in there. <laughs> ah, just might eat it. But look at that. Boils on the back boils in the leg, and ugh. Looks like the skin's falling off his animatronic parts, too. Boy, for being a Funko bootleg, this one is still pretty darn cool. And it also has articulation. Oh, I kinda love that. It's got the arms, the head, the hands, torso, and check this out. I think this is a first. You can bend it at the feet. Ha, oh, check that bootleg out. Ha, huh, pretty darn cool. And of course, with previous bootlegs, we've been able to take the head off, so I wonder if this one's any different. Oh, check it out! <laughs> ah, old animatronic Freddy looking back at us with those beady eyes. Oh, let's put this head back on and wait a minute. I think this part comes off too. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, we can even make him look like Withered Bonnie, but uh, Withered Freddy? <laughs> ah, that's just ridiculous. Let's put your face on as well as uh, your other face. <laughs> now, that's what I call it going to pieces. Boy, I tell ya, when it comes to removable faces, these bootlegs have one over on Funko. Even if you compare this figure to the mini bootleg figure, we see that there's a light year difference, because just look how light this guy is. <laughs> ah, stupid. Yep, this is the Twisted Freddy that we all know and love. And check this out, there's even a thing on his back, so when you turn out the lights, we can press it and make him glow in the dark. Ooh, check it out. Boy, talk about putting that hole in his chest to good use. <laughs> Put a light inside of it. And of course, if you press it a couple times, we can change the light pattern. Ooh, neato. Look at them glow. Yep, now that's what I call a party. Hey girls, party in the scooping room in 10 minutes. All right. Well, as you can see, this is a pretty cool version of Twisted Freddy. But like I've said before, this is a Mexican toy and it does have a weird smell to it. <laughs> Which means the plastic they make it with might not be the safest for kids to play with. So if you want one for your very own, well, just be careful. We ended up getting our hands on two more bootlegs, and this time, both of them are a Bonnie. Oh, cool. And we have two Bonnies here, a light blue Bonnie and a purple Bonnie, which means, uh, I guess this one is the toy Bonnie? Huh, I'm not sure, but uh, let's take a look at the regular Twisted Bonnie first, because, well, that's the one from the book. Oh, man, and just check this guy out. He looks pretty darn amazing. And for being a bootleg, wow, just check out all these features on this thing. The ears move, the mouth moves, and look at this, even the jaw hinges open. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Look at that, that's incredible. <laughs> Another great thing about this figure is that it comes with a faceplate that pops off. Oh yes, I love it. Just like with Twisted Freddy, the faceplate comes off, revealing another face underneath. Not only that, but this face plate comes off too. <laughs> they can have a twisted withered bunny. Ha, that's ridiculous. I love it. Hey there, withered bunny. Time to meet twisted withered bunny. Wow, you got no face. Yeah, you got no face either. Ha, well, I'd rather have no face than be a two face like Mango. Hey, who are you calling two face? <laughs> now, I will say that the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's figures look pretty darn amazing. But when it comes to these bootlegs, they got a really cool feature with those face plates coming off. Huh, I wish Funko would take a step from them and also put removable face plates on their figures. That would just make them super cool, especially with that hinged jaw. I mean, that is the coolest. Oh, I love it. Not only that, just check out the body. We can see right into his rib cage. Oh, I love that. And of course, he's got the super cool twisted arms with the <laughs> really long fingernails on his hands. That's awesome. And of course, on his legs. Ooh, cool, we can see right into his body there. Wow, 
I gotta say, these bootlegs look incredible, especially when you put them side by side with old Twisted Freddy. Oh man, we're getting a Twisted Army here. All right, so now that we've got Twisted Bonnie and Twisted Freddy, you might see to yourselves, okay, well, the next logical figure is Twisted Chica or the Twisted Wolf. But unfortunately, when it comes to Mexican bootlegs, the only one we get next is, uh, another Twisted Bonnie? Oh, weird. But this one is a light blue, which, uh, makes it, I guess, Twisted Toy Bonnie. Now, I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind giving us a Twisted Toy Bonnie because, well, he's not even in the book. But, like it or not, we've got him. And just in case you're wondering, yep, he's the exact same figure as the regular Bonnie. Oh, it's pretty much the same figure. The same hinged jaw, the same mouth that opens, the same <laughs> face that pops off. <laughs> Gross. The same body, which we can see right into the torso there. And just everything on this guy is pretty much the same as the regular Bonnie. Boy, these Twisted One bootlegs look great. And so far, they've only made three of them. Oh man, I would love to get a Twisted Wolf or a Twisted Chica to add to these guys. Oh well, maybe in the future. And of course the last feature to look at with these Mexican bootlegs is, well, we turn around and there's a button to make them light up. <laughs> oh look at that, they put them right in their rib cage so they'll light up and make all kinds of crazy colors. Especially in the dark. Oh man, and just check out the colors popping through that rib cage. Boy, doing that just makes this figure super creepy. Oh man, look at that. But we've got one more we've picked up from Mexico, and that is the super cool Twisted Wolf. Oh man, yes. I didn't think they'd make him, but yep, they did. And boy, this guy looks like a hulking beast. Now, up until now, the only way you can get Twisted Wolf is through Funko with their pop line. But of course, if you go on eBay, you can find this Twisted Wolf guy, <laughs> uh, the bootleg version of him anyway, from Mexico. Oh man, and just look at this guy. He looks a little bit different from the official version, but looks cool nonetheless. I mean, just look at that. They took some extra care in this guy. <laughs> He's got gold spikes on his arms. Oh, and just look at that menacing look on his face. <laughs> He's ready to eat you. Hey, I'm ready to eat you. Oh man, you gotta love that mouth that opens up because it reveals a second row of teeth. <laughs> oh man, and of course that's synonymous with all the Five Nights at Freddy's Twisted Ones figures. Oh, you gotta love it. And just look at this mange on his back. Oh man. Now, I'm not really big on bootleg figures, but this one is top notch. I just love the sculpt they use this time around. Oh man, and there's all kinds of articulation in the arms and the hands. And let's see, the torso. Not the legs, but oh man, just look at the legs. We can see the little hinge joints on the back. Nope, there's no tail, but we do get little claws on his feet. And of course, with all these bootleg figures, you gotta love it because the faceplate comes off. All right, so let's, uh... <laughs> oh man, look at that jump scare pose on this guy. Oh, I love it. And of course, with these figures, you also get a second faceplate that comes off. <laughs> Ah, so now we can have a, a, a withered twisted fox. Oh, I love it. A withered twisted fox? Well, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. I just love these face plates coming off on these figures. I said it before and I'll say it again. I wish Funko would do something similar where he could take their faces off so he could put them in their jump scare pose. And one last thing I want to show you on this figure is something that's really cool and something highly detailed that uh, I've never seen in other bootlegs. But look at this, you can see right into his rib cage there, and the detail on that is just incredible. I mean, just look at those ribs popping out of there. Oh, neat. And they also twist and turn in there too. But of course, you're probably thinking, now oh, wait a minute, Puppet Steve, with all these other figures, they also glow in the dark. <laughs> and if you're wondering if this guy does the same thing, well, yep, he does. You have to pick up the main here, and ooh, there's that switch for the back. So press it and, Oh yes, he also glows too. And of course, press it again, and it changes the light pattern just slightly. So you can have a really menacing looking Twisted Wolf if you want to turn out all the lights. Bro, I'm coming for ya. Oh man, and that is creepy and scary. Wow, you said it. Put all these guys together in the dark, and wow, we've got quite the creep show going. <laughs> oh man, these will scare kids any day of the week. But you have to admit, for being just bootlegs, Man, these guys are just great. And I love the level of detail they're going on these things now. Huh. 
Well, they've only made three different characters from the Twist Ones line, and I don't think they'll be making any more since the book is getting kind of old now. In fact, they'll probably start making Pizzeria Simulator game figures. All right, kids, well, there they are, all three Twisted One bootleg figures coming at you from Mexico.